In King's Vein, there's this mechanic I think is very funny. So for the most part, it's a fairly normal tactics game. You move, use abilities, and attack. When the fight ends, you loot everything, level up your characters, and explore, looking for another problem to solve with violence. The fun begins when you kill an enemy. Their body crumbles to the floor like in any other tactics game, but instead of disappearing, it just lays there, occupying the tile. You can walk over the body, but not if an enemy is standing on the other side. So you stand across from your enemy, poking them across the dead body of their friend, until one of your units is knocked out. And of course, their body is now an obstacle on the floor. This continues until the battlefield is absolutely covered in bodies, and you're stuck either walking around or shooting across the dead bodies to hit your foes. Some classes, like the Ranger or Magic classes, don't much care about dead bodies, but a lot of the Chisel and Knight class abilities rely on being right next to your target, which makes a body in the way a huge annoyance. A downed ally becomes a tactical consideration both because you lose a unit for the rest of the fight, and because if you know they're going to faint, you want them to do it in a place that's helpful for you. Ugh, not on the carpet. Die over there, please. Then, of course, once they're downed, you dance around their corpse, using it to block enemies from surrounding your units, shooting fireballs across it, and generally causing mayhem. Alongside these corpses are the environmental effects. Knocked over torches will set a few spaces on fire, meaning any unit that passes through will take damage. Anytime a character is damaged, they'll leave blood on the floor that'll increase damage from ruin spells and attract lightning to chain further. So you end up with characters standing on either side of a pile of dead bodies, fire, and blood, continually zapping each other as they slowly walk around the bodies or shoot crossbow bolts. Always mindful to stay away from the pot of oil that'll deal tons of damage if the enemy fireballs it while they're close. What begins as a simple battlefield becomes an increasingly chaotic minefield as the fight continues, up to a point. Unfortunately, bodies will disappear after three turns, so the battlefield won't fill up entirely and become unplayable. In practical terms, combat is short, and if your ally died more than three turns ago, you've probably already lost the fight, but some enemy bodies will disappear before you're done. Honestly, I might like King's Vein more if the bodies did stay around until the end of the fight, because some of the craziest moments of the game happen when the battlefield is a graveyard. There's one more thing that makes the bodies so interesting, zombies. King's Vein is infested with wisps, and it's your job to slay them. Wisps can infest dead bodies, turning them into regular units. If an infested enemy is slain, the wisp inhabiting them will try to revive them the following turn. Not every fight involves a wisp, but if it does, you'd better stay on top of your pile of bodies, or risk getting overwhelmed. You can totally revive your teammates with the right item or spell, but many times it's just more efficient to walk over them and kill a wisp that's about to revive someone, or take a sick shot that the enemy's just lined up for you. In my favourite tactics series, Fire Emblem, you have two options. Either you play classic mode, where every ally death is a permanent loss that you have to rewind and avoid, or you play modern mode, where ally deaths are inconsequential and immediately vanish from the battlefield. Character deaths in King's Vein reduce a character's maximum health until they rest at a bonfire, and prevent them from getting experience from the current battle. Overall, it doesn't matter that much, but by letting the bodies pile up, knocked out characters are both more tactically interesting and a whole lot funnier. I had a fight a few hours into the game where I was clearly outmatched. I took out a number of enemies, but my units just kept dying until I had just one left, stuck behind a pile of corpses and unable to use their most powerful close-up abilities. Each lightning bolt I shot hit almost everyone, including my character, because there was so much blood. But it wasn't enough, and I lost. King's Vein is pretty hard. You'll need to make sure not to wander into a difficult fight before getting enough XP, equip your units well, and play defensively to avoid early damage. And this difficulty is part of what makes the body system so impactful. You're not sleepwalking through the game, you're taking every advantage you can get, including the corpses of your friends and enemies. One seemingly small mechanic creates the potential for so many stories, and any game that can do that is a fun one in my book. Sure, not every battle is as eventful as the ones I described, and King's Vein can be a bit confusing at times. It's hardly a perfect game, but it's interesting to play with its class systems and environmental combat, and of course, trip over some corpses while you do it.